Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. This is our June 2019 BMW 335X Drive M Sport Auto Touring. Bit of a mouthful there. The car's finished in mineral grey metallic. The car's covered just 13,046 miles currently. The car has um, just come in to us, it's just been finished. We've got it running at the moment. So I'm just gonna take you around the car. The whole car has been detailed and machine polished to a really high standard. The guys spend a whole day on the car, two people, one focused on the outside of the car and the other focused on the interior of the car. And that's how we get our cars up to this lovely level of condition. If I come in close, I'm just gonna take you over the bonnet. You can see that beautiful shine. So we use a rotary polisher to take out any little hairline scratches from washing the car with a sponge and then an orbiting mop which uh, as the head rotate, uh, spins, it sort of oscillates in a sort of uh, circular motion. And that takes out a lot of the holograms, the, the reflection that you get. Now, if we come across this bonnet, you'll notice there really aren't any stone chips. I'm just scanning the car myself without looking through the camera. And I can't can't actually see anything on that bonnet. It's really, really clean. I mean, it hasn't done any miles. There's a couple of tinsy wincy Let me just focus. Just above the reflection, two little dots next to each other. They are tiny. And the front wing as well. The tiniest, tiniest little dot there. So, beautiful condition. The car has parking sensors front and rear. Let's just get this in focus. And you'll notice the parking sensor on the side there, on the wheel arch. That's part of the, uh, the sensors that do the parking assist. So parking assist, the car will self park. I'm not too sure on this one, you might have to do the throttle and the brake. I'm hoping the screen didn't go then. It's asking me to update my watch. Hopefully that didn't affect the video. So just come round. And I'll show you these are the 704M 19 inch alloy wheels. And we've got Bridgestone run flats on the car. M Sport brakes, which are a bigger pad and a slightly bigger disc. I think they're 330 uh, millimeters opposed to the 300s. I think the others are. I might have that slightly wrong, but I think it's something like that. But they're a bigger disc, so stronger braking with those M Sport calipers. I'll just show you this rear wheel as well. All in lovely condition. Bring you in and show you around this filler cap look. I like to point out all the areas that are notorious for scratches and that, and just to show that there aren't any. We'll open that up as well. So this car has the Add Blue as well. So Add Blue is like a purified P basically and what it does the NOx the nitrous oxide that's in the diesel is um, one of the items in the diesel that, that's not good for you of course and what it does it separates it into nitrogen and oxygen which is what we breathe so it's actually cleaning the air or the exhaust gas to make it really clean for the atmosphere and clean for us so that's a really good positive and we've got rear camera just under there as well. And being the X drive on the 335, they're all X drive on these 335s. The uh, four wheel drive system is um, engaged under heavy load. So when you're accelerating hard away, it engages four wheel drive or on a slippery surface. So most of the time you are in two wheel drive, which is better for fuel economy. So you get the best of both worlds. We've got the sun protection glass on the back, around the back windows, which will reflect the heat out of the car. You see there, we come up onto the roof. There's no damage 
on the roof, no bird dropping stains or marks or tree sap. It's amazing the damage a bit of bird dropping can do to your paintwork. No scratches. All of the black gloss on the side of the car has all been rotary polished and nice and glossy, scratch free. The wing mirrors, black gloss as well. Obviously this is the shadow edition. Don't think I mentioned that at the beginning, but I've just realized that now. We've got high beam assist on the car as well. So we've got a camera up on the front of the screen here. I can just get, see that camera in the middle of the screen, it's a lot of reflection, just in front of the rear view mirror. And when the main beam lights are on, the camera will sense any headlights or built up areas with uh, lighting and it will automatically dip your headlights for you. So we've got the, uh, the hexagon sort of finish on the trim there. I think they call this one carbon actually. It's like a herringbone finish really with the pearl chrome finisher on the top. The black Dakota leather. Got the Harman Kardon sound system which is 16 speakers in all. You get additional speakers up on the top here as well. There are speakers under the seat and in the rear of the car, door cards and the very rear of the car. If we come down low, we've got puddle lights. We've got lights underneath the door handles as well. Just wanted to show you just how clean this is. Sorry about the shaking. One too many coffees. All of the door seals and the rubber around the aperture of the door. Try and get that in focus. All lovely and then we've got the Dakota leather the headrest pop forward as well to reach the back of your head the bolsters on the side are blown up by the little rocker button down here in the middle of the screen so you can get the seat to grip you at the sides and this section at the front pulls forward the 8-speed ZF gearbox probably one of the best gearboxes on the market. We've got the Pro Media as well, which is all touchscreen. We'll come to that in a minute. Take a look in the back. While we're here, I'm just gonna... So there are no ding dents or anything. If you look down the side of this car, it's not had any previous damage, no ripples. It's all, all in lovely condition. Just gonna see if so the lights are just up under there in the door handle. So the rear door card as well. Let's make sure this is in focus. Got the speakers there. Puddle lights again, all lovely and clean. And uh, if we look along the seal, it's not had any seat belts jammed in there. That's a reflection by the way, if I just come round see that wasn't a scratch we've got a lot of uh, reflections from the lights above they're very bright the lighting in the showroom so notice the back of the seats all of the netting and everything's in nice condition occasionally you see a car and that handprint on the seat is just where I've lent into the car a minute ago so ignore that you see, see my stubby fingers <laughs> the isofix center armrest folding down center headrest there to give you a better view out the back of the car if we look down in the center here all lovely and clean let's take a look at the rear of the car if I'm going to use the I, just for those of you that don't know you can pop the little switch under here and this section the glass panel opens separately so let's pop that down and then with the key we can open the boot we can close it the button up here or the button on the key by pressing and holding it just going to show you this plastic trim here another area that can get scuffed and dig marks in and it's all in lovely condition 
got the blind out at the moment just to show you that it's all in nice condition, no rips or anything. Pops forward, so I can put that up like so. All of the carpets, we've got extended storage, gives you this little elasticated piece here. I've got the lug holes and the parcel shelf, this one here, that sort of pulls out the roller blind, should we say, you can insert that in under the boot flooring there. It sits in that section there. So you can put that out the way when you drop the seats down. We've got the netting here as well. Now when the seats are down, you can locate that in these plastic sort of panels here and then up on the top when the seats are down under that that square plastic cover there's some lugs and you can insert these bits into there to carry the netting across behind the driver's seat and the passenger seat so that nothing in the boot can be thrown forward let's just zoom out sorry there we go and then we've got a 12 volt socket there and just above it is the little lug for carrier bags so it's nothing gets thrown around in the boot and then we've got more extended storage under here all lovely and clean little cubby hole in there we'll put a first aid kit in there that's what should be in there warning triangles up at the top excuse me so if I press and hold the boot button now, so as you're walking away with your boxes or groceries from the back of the car, you can shut the boot as you walk away and lock it. Just taking a look in this side, driver's rear, again, all the leather, all in lovely condition, door seals, again, no marks. Trying to make sure this is in focus all the time. I've ordered myself one of these gyros, hopefully make this a little bit easier. Okay, so we've got a door card on this side, which is clean, no marks, all the lights all clean underneath there. So again, all in beautiful condition. We're open up on the driver's side now. Worth pointing out actually, if you look all around the door handle, no scratches or anything. So driver's door card. Again, I'm just scouting around with my eyes, just trying to see if I can see anything that's not come up on the camera, but there isn't anything. All lovely and clean under there. Another the place to point out is this door edge. No seat belts have been jammed in there either. Okay. All down here. And then the seat, of course, on the drivers. Oh, let's get rid of this shaking. All in lovely condition got uh, front and rear fog lights the extended storage continues to the front of the cubby hole you sort of expect that to be there but believe it or not it is part of an extra pack and then we've got voice control mode speed limiter in fact, if I jump in the car let's just close the door let's have a look so when we purchased the car, it was just under 13,000. It's just jumped on to 13,046 with delivery mileage. Just gonna move my seat back a bit. Okay. So yeah, on the steering wheel just here, we've got a mode button. We've got voice activation, telephone button, and you have what's called black panel display. And when you press the mode button, let me get this so that it's not moving around and we can then flick with the wheel that's amongst those buttons for all the dab channels, etc. 
and um, select whatever station you want obviously and if we hit mode again we've got FM AM online entertainment which is part of a package that's on here music collection is part of the hard drive so when you down you can download music into the car and um, that's uh, all under the uh, music collection if we come across we've got let's just flick this button so we've got the um, professional meter which is the latest one which is the touch screen what this will do for us you can move everything around into whatever order you want etc you've got if we go into the map for example I'm going to use the iDrive wheel but you can use it as touch screen now if we go over to the right and go over um, actually if, I, if I'm going to go into map actually so we've got two views on you can split the screen if we come over to the right you can have different windows open here so you could have uh, your onboard computer for example your media the time and if we go right the way back to the top we can take off the split screen there we go there if we come over to the left this is where all the sub menus are if we go in there for example enter destination if we go into enter destination address input you can set your home address etc um, we've got the radio buttons below which I'll come to in a minute where we can save um, telephone numbers some of the screens so in here we've got voice input for putting addresses in you can do this in the music section as well to look up uh, artists etc or we can write on the top of the iDrive wheel and it will Wait. shortcut on the right hand oh. side to where S. it thinks you're going to go so M. there we go and then you could just flip over to the right put in Portsmouth for example etc so if we go into map again I can say these are all the sub menus traffic information additional information um, map views so perspective which is the view that most people will use nowadays if we hover over these buttons here, and I'm just going to lightly slide my finger across, you can see that you can assign them, not just to radio stations, but we can save this window here. So in the city, where you've got, uh, you know, you're turning right at the fifth junction, etc. the view looking down is a lot better because you can see how many roads you're coming up to. You could save that on number seven and then you can flip between the two just by changing with the buttons press number eight and it flips and you can do that with telephone numbers etc put the save the telephone numbers in as well if we go into the media the media on this bmw and, and all the bmws of pro nav and business nav they work really well they link up to the phones really nicely and you can search for the tracks on some of the apps it's a little bit different but on most stuff you've got the dab there again online intent music collection as i say and if we go further to the left one more time oh, no, i think that is the beginning actually i haven't got a phone linked but there's phone there's a couple of phones in there which we'll take out in a minute so it's all free right we'll go back to the beginning when you actually use the iDrive wheel down here sometimes pressing the button twice and press it again it will flip between screens so you can use that as well connective drive services uh, so this has got the remainder of the subscription on it um, I think it's three years initially so you've got Amazon Alexa in here weather news I think there's a weather radar it'll show you the weather coming so if you're off to play golf or you're off to the zoo with the kids um, and you want to just check if you're going to need anything I'll just show you there and you can get it to play as well so it'll give you live data showing the, the weather so we're clear down here today so hope it's going to be a good weekend got the dual climate control I mean the car's got a lot of nice spec on it on the shadow edition the pro nav is an extra and uh, heated seats on now this car doesn't have heated seats 
don't think it's the end of the world not having heated seats it is quite nice to have them but these cars are in high demand at the moment they're very hard to find especially with the mileage that's on this car it's very low so sometimes when you're trying to tick all of the boxes of what you're looking for you have to be a little bit flexible you know the mileage might outweigh that or something else that's on the car we've got the high beam assist button just on the end of the stalk there the zf gearbox like i say with the paddle shift and sport mode on the gearbox and then we've got the um, eco pro and sport button so if we go into there now what eco pro will do It'll make the throttle response a little bit flatter, so it changes the, the mapping on the engine to um, a more refined for economy. And also, when you come off the throttle, it's almost like the car's gone into neutral. It'll roll, you know, you've got a lot more roll on, so you um, conserve fuel. The comfort is a medium setting. And then the sport, is all singing and dancing with the traction on on the first one we've got sport displays you can change these to pounds per foot and horsepower and you can go into sport plus which will turn off part of the traction control now being four-wheel drive you'll notice this is turned off part of the traction for sport plus if you press and hold the traction button down there if you look down where that P is for park and sport, I'm holding this button, that just below DSC deactivated. That's both parts of the traction control off now. So you're driving without driver aids and that will give you, um, you know, full performance, shall we say. And also when you're driving in snow, you want the first part of the traction off because you don't want the traction control coming in when the four-wheel drive's trying to work. So let's take a look under the bonnet. Okay, so, there's that word again, so. Twin power turbo and also twin turbo. So the twin power refers to like a dual core. What that means is that half of the exhaust section you've got six cylinders there's two ports on the turbo opposed to one so you get um, an earlier spinning up of the turbo because if you have six ports all going into one it creates um, trying to think of the word now more uh, turbulence that's the word turbulence slows airflow down and the point of the turbo is to speed up airflow so a twin port turbo or dual core twin power turbo means that you can get the airflow through quicker it's more responsive and there are two of them as well so one turbo is slightly smaller than the other which allows it to spin up with uh, less pressure so it gives you a much better uh, managed power delivery throughout the rev range I guess Le uh, less lag is probably another way of putting it so the whole engine bay is cleaned by hand. We use a lot of WD-40 to clean in here and make it all shiny and nice and new without jet washing it to soak the engine. We don't want to do that. And you'll notice just how lovely and clean it is. This is all hoovered out in here. We don't jet wash in there because you don't want to create sludge with any leaves. If you get sludge in there, it's just going to block the waterways up, so it's all nice and clean. And power output on this is around about, I think it's 315 PS, which equates to, I think it's 313 brake horsepower. It equates to something like that. It shows differently in different places. Some say it's 309, but it's uh, plenty of power, about 600 and 20 newton meters of torque i believe we've got the black gloss grills in the front there the black mirror caps okay so thank you for watching the video if i've missed anything give me a call and i'll i'll find out any details that you need
These cars, uh, we've not had them for a long. We saw four last month, or no, four this month actually, so far. And we've only carried usually about 20 cars, but the showroom is pretty empty at the moment. We've got spaces everywhere. This is usually full up. Speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.